it's time. What up, Jippers? Our play is back once again for some more No Man's Sky and our beautiful space adventures. But today is No Man's Sky next day, and we're starting a brand new adventure playing in normal mode on the Xbox One X. So I am very, very excited right now. We're about to jump in. This will be the first time I've jumped into the game ever with the next update, and I'm, I'm pretty excited right now. <laughs> I'm so excited right now. <sighs> okay. Here we go. I'm going to have to get used to the Xbox controls. <laughs> Ooh, holy moly. The clouds. The freaking clouds. Oh man, this looks incredible. There's been so much talk about these clouds. So much worry because people had a leaked version that wasn't complete. And that... Those clouds looked impossible. I've never seen a game that had clouds like that. So this is the new start of the game. I think it's been tweaked slightly, but it should feel similar to what we know and love. I'm just waking up for the first time. Oh my gosh. Our brand new adventure. There's the little tool. The textures look so good. The textures look incredible. There we go, there's the- Oh my gosh, that is so slick! Oh, this is- And I'm in an orange suit! It's like they knew! It's like they knew what I wanted to look like! I need to change my race to a Gek. Enable base sharing, so straight away I've been given this option. Uh, you can now share your base online for other players. Yeah, we definitely want to enable base sharing. Oh, <laughs> look at this! Holy moly, holy moly. Okay, okay, I need to look at these clouds. I need to look at the sky. We're on a ringed planet! We've started off on a li Does everyone start off on a ringed planet, or am I just super freaking lucky? That is incredible. Holy moly. Okay, okay, okay. Um, You have unredeemed items to claim. To claim that- Oh, I missed it. I totally missed it. I'm panicking. Uh, I'm so overwhelmed. Recharge thermal protection with sodium. Locate sodium with the scanner. We know how to use the good old- Oh, my scanner's damaged! I was about to say, we know how to use the good old scanner. Gypped again. Uh, I need some ferrite dust. Okay, so we need to go and gather some resources. Can I shoot the multi tool? Yes. Oh, that looks good. Oh, there's some birdies. Oh, I can't scan. I went to scan them out of instinct and I can't because I'm broken. The clouds. Look at the freaking clouds. And these clouds are like different all over the place from what I'm hearing. Like different planets have totally different cloud patterns. They're dynamic. They're not like auto scripted to always look the same. Like I'm actually looking up at a beautiful blue sky that looks even better than Earth right now. But my radioactive stuff is killing me right now. <laughs> alright, alright, let's get some stuff. Let's get some materials. Uh, I'll take this. Take the ferrite dust. Okay, okay, okay. I, I need to like... Whoa! It's been so long since I started a new game, guys. Bear with me. We are in danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Hey, hey, hey. What is this freaking... Look at this thing! What the... Ah! Oh! Ah! Where's my... Oh, no. Oh, I'm so going to die to begin with, aren't I? I'm so going to die. <laughs> oh, I'm, like, for anyone watching, I'm not a new player. I have played so much No Man's Sky that is ridiculous. Uh, but that doesn't mean I'm good at it. So I need iron batteries or sodium. What would give me sodium? That's what I need to figure out, huh? Uh, I want to have a look at these menus. If I die, like, now, I'm not too worried. I'm just kind of trying to have a look around and see how it all works. How do I see it? Can I switch to first person mode? Toggle camera view. Okay. okay. Okay, so this is first person mode. Oh my gosh. That ringed freaking planet on the first one I found. The first one I started on. That is so cool. Oh, it's beautiful. I need to harvest some stuff. This gives me carbon. Where do I get the uh, sodium? Sodium's, isn't sodium like a type of metal? I, I know everyone's going to say salt, but that's, that's not actually what sodium is like. <laughs> uh, let me... Okay, okay, okay. I'm not seeing anything giving me... That's giving me... Nope, can't get that. Ah, where do I get sodium? Sodium, sodium. I'm getting a load of stuff. Uh, 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 life support, I can't do... Holy moly, holy moly. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna have to, like... Do I start off... Oh, I don't start off with a grenade. I want to go back into third person mode, I think. That was... Yeah, the third person looks so good, guys. Look at this. It looks so swish. Oh, the little jetpack booster. Look at me go. Oh, that's beautiful. 
that is so cool. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get myself all set up. I'm gonna get myself like some stuff so I'm not panicking, and then we'll come back and we'll do some like proper walking around and taking everything in. But holy gosh, look how freaking beautiful this looks! I am so hyped right now. Yes. Okay, we're back. I, I did die, but I'm now back, and I read the instructions uh, instead of just panicking. I was so overwhelmed by how good everything looked, uh, but I just needed to get some ferrite ore, which I guess replaces iron to repair the scanner, and now the scanner's fixed. So I can scan things, I can see things, and I found our first ever creatures. I don't have too long because I am losing health and stuff, um, but I kind of just want to see how they move and wiggle and walk around and stuff like that for the first time. They look pretty cool. The textures have definitely been dramatically improved. There's a group of them around here. Um, I just want to kind of... I can't scan them because my analysis visor has not been fixed yet, of course. But this is all looking very cool to me. They, they look, these look really fitting for the environment. They look like some weird kind of uh, Mars space rat, mole rat type thing. But I don't know if that's just coincidence. I don't know if like animals are more fitted to the environments in the game properly now or if this is just a fluke. But... Yeah, this one definitely looks cool. I don't want to. I don't want to attack them. Oh, oh yeah, I need to get the oxygen. Oh, okay, so oxygen replaces the old thamium, huh? Oh, the jetpack boost. I know you guys will want to know about the jetpack boost. I need to get to my starship. I need to go to my star. The scale. Look at the freaking size of everything. Holy moly, this is just so beautiful. I can't believe the clouds like just moving like that. They look so good. This is awesome, guys. This is like, this is obviously the first planet as well, and it's not even like a beautiful paradise planet or something, but it just looks so good. Um, right, where was my ship? My ship is over here, so that's where we need to get to. Okay, buddies! Oh, look at this guy go! <laughs> oh, I wish I could scan them! I need to get my scanner fixed. Let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. And then, Oh yeah, the jetpack boost, that's what I wanted to show you. They've properly animated that. People were really worried about it. I had like there were some people saying if they've taken out the jetpack boost, I'm never playing the game again. <laughs> uh, and they've like they've not just keeping it in, but they've like made it into a really cool looking animation where you like proper like dive to the side. Oh, plutonium, my old friend. Condensed carbon. Now I'm gonna have to get used to all of these new names and new resources and stuff. Uh, give me all of the condensed carbon, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to look in the box. What's in the box there? The new textures look stunning. I can't wait to... Oh, that ring, man. The ring looks so good. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like on a, like, super stunning paradise world with loads and loads of creatures and stuff. And to see if there are... Like, we know there are some new creatures. At a minimum, we know we've got the Xenos. Um, that's so... Yeah, I mean... Uh, I don't want to keep those, do I? Yeah, we'll just get rid of those. Uh, da -da. I'm just thinking I've got no money to begin with, so even like rusted, <laughs> rusted rubbish that I would normally trash could actually be useful. But I think we'll be okay. Once we get the scanner working, we'll get some units that way. So for anyone who's going to be starting on Xbox for the first time, once you've got your scanner fixed, your analysis visor, uh, scanning stuff around you like plants, creatures, uh, minerals and stuff, is actually quite a good way to build up some money early on in the game. Oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. I need to get up there. I need to fly. I need to explore. Oh, this is... I can't, the scale is the first thing I'm noticing that's impressive. And I know for certain that this isn't as big as things get, you know? But, like, before next, this sort of, like, I don't know, trees would be kind of not much taller than your player. But now, even on this little... Oh, it just looks so good. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I'm just overwhelmed with excitement right now. Uh, we need to get over to there. I'm running quite low, but I want to keep looting all of this stuff. Uh, because I am starting out, so this stuff's going to be useful, right? Uh, da -da -da. Thank you very much. It looks very crisp, doesn't it? And we know we're going to be getting, like, weekly content. And Oh, we got some weird creatures. Oh, they're tiny. Okay, that's few. I thought there was a giant one. We're going to go see them. I, I don't know. I should probably hurry up and get to the ship, though. Oh, actually, I think I've got enough stuff to repair my hazard protection if I need to at least once, right? So we might be okay. I love it. Like, the third-person camera view, the lighting, the textures. This is all looking fantastic. I'm so... Oh. I, I just knew, like, you guys know that I knew. I had, like, right from way back in March, I just knew this was going to end up being, like, a massive, complete overhaul. And it really has, like, even, even with that expectation. <gasps> What is this? He looks gross. Oh my gosh! 
Oh, oh no, the jipper snapper plants, they're still alive. Are you gonna hit? Yeah, oh no! Get out of here, you fool! Even in the next universe, they still blight me. All right, what about this little jipper? Is he friend or- I can't scan him, so I don't know if he's- uh, Let me see if I can actually charge my hazard protection. Yes, I can. I've got sodium or- How do I get an ion battery? I must have found that. Okay, we'll use that. Uh, that gives us a little bit more time before we have to run to the ship. <laughs> hey, Crabbo, come here. The movement looks nice, huh? They look like his legs actually move around like he's some weird grotesque spider brain thing. He's very alien looking. This is, oh, this is such a... I just feel like I'm in the Martian or something right now, you know? Like this Mars type looking planet. And then we've got these weird alien creatures and stuff just making it so cool. The light, I'm, I'm quite impressed by the lighting. I'm really impressed by the lighting. And I'm not playing on a 4K TV right now. I have got one. I've got a 4K TV sitting like just just in front of me there, a huge one. But um, I'm not recording on that at the moment because I can only record. I can't record in 4K yet, basically. So this is just on like a 1080p standard um, HD TV. But it is running on the X, so that's pretty cool. And it looks so good. It looks so good. I guess there's some things we want to check out, right? So for you guys that have been with me for a long time and play the game a lot. You're going to know one of the things that I'm really keen to check out is the photo mode. Okay, photo mode is good. Oh, wow. We've got to, we've definitely got to take a picture on our, how do you, oh, what's the screenshot button on Xbox? I definitely need to figure that out, don't I? <laughs> uh, so for anyone like new to this, I take a lot of beautiful pictures. Like that's one of the things that I really got hooked on in this game and just like love to do. You can move the sun around. You can get like a good angle. And now we can put ourselves in it! Selfies confirmed! There I am in my little orange jipper suit! The whole world is starting out in a little orange jipper suit. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. I don't know what the screenshot button is though, and that makes me a little bit sad. <laughs> is it like, hold this? Does anybody know what the screenshot button is? I'm gonna have to Google that, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the ship. I can play around. Uh, do we want to see if there's any other cool stuff in photo mode, actually? Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So we can go. Oh, this is really cool as well. So if you're on like a really dangerous planet and you just want to look around for a bit and not have to worry about hazard protection, you can just go into photo mode just to take a little look around. I do that quite a lot, especially if I'm underwater and I'm drowning or something. <gasps> Ooh, we'll go get that pod over there in a minute. Um, but if you're drowning or something like that, but you just want to look around without having to worry, you just go into photo mode and then you can kind of. Oh, how far can we go in photo mode? There's our ship. There's the Razamama. Oh, that looks nice. We hold. Hold on a minute. I am going very, very far. Oh, okay, it looks, so it looks like photo mode, you can go further away now. It feels like it. I can't tell if it's just because the scale of everything is so massive now, or if it's actually further away, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, that is definitely further away. There's my little guy right over there. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, this is cool. This is very, very cool. I like this a lot. All right, let's get to the ship. Let's get to the ship. We'll play around with photo mode much more in this series, don't you? Don't you worry about that, buddy boys. Uh, I need to figure out a way to turn off my notifications there. Because I just started the Jipper Colony, and I'm guessing loads of people are going to be adding me and sending me notifications and stuff. And because the Jipper, for anyone who doesn't know, I am starting a little colony. It's going to be on all platforms, Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. And it's basically going to be, ooh, here we go. Iteration 23948290849249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249
um, and then we'll meet back at the ship once I've got it all sorted. If I see anything super cool, we'll come back and I'll show you that in the episode. But if not, we'll probably come back when I'm able to fly and take off, because that's obviously what you guys want to see. You don't want to see the start of planet, so we're going to get to it. Um, but yeah, all right. And I'm going to figure out how to do screenshots on the Xbox, because I don't know. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, we're back, and I've managed to get the ship up and running. I've had... Some pretty crazy adventures, actually. It takes a while to get up and going. You have to go and get resources and stuff. And, of course, I got myself into a spot of mischief. <laughs> I got chased by a load of sentinels. And now there's, like, a wanted level and a countdown timer. You have to escape. You have to actually stay out of sight for, like, 30 seconds before they stop chasing you. And the music goes all epic. So there's me, like, running through the desert, panicking with, like, the music going... Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> it was pretty fun. In the end, I ended up like, hiding between, like, a load of plants. And then trying to, like, zigzag my way out until I'd go away from them. So I definitely like the way that has changed. I also had to make one of these little things, which is a refiner. So this is something completely new to the game. Basically, you put it down. You put raw resources in here. So I put ferrite dust in. And then that comes up with pure, like it refines them basically. So you get your ores or your like uh, refined minerals or whatever coming out the other side. And it takes a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds to like go through. So I put the ferrite dust in, got my pure ferrite out, and then I was able to fix the ship. So now I'm going to pick this back up, I think. Yep. I, so I've got, oh, okay. Yeah, so you just get all the resources back. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we got that. But now, I think is the time, I figured out how to take screenshots too, and I took a lot. <laughs> I took a lot of screenshots. Uh, and I named the ship Jippy. So, Jippy is the first ever expedition ship of the uh, Jipper Colony forces. And it's a beauty. Look at my little ship. It looks so, the, the new, like, ship textures and animations and stuff look so crisp. Like, the little cylinders moving around and everything. It just looks so, so nice. What was the other stuff I know? Oh, yeah. So, another interesting thing. I know there's been a lot of argument, discussion, debate around it. If I go to my options menu, to the network options, it still shows up with 16 slots. As it always has done before, we know the actual co-op is only four players. But based on what I'm seeing here, I would assume we can still see up to 15 other players, including ourselves. But the co-op will only be four players. That's my guess. I haven't had a chance to try it out just yet, but we'll do that pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, it certainly looks like 16 is still the lobby size. You will still be able to see other players outside of your uh, squad and all of that kind of stuff. Unless this is just like placeholder until they expand it. I'm not entirely sure, but it's still there. So... Yeah, it looks like 16 to me, which is good. Which is kind of what I expected anyway, because that's what we had before. Uh, but now, it's time to take Jippy on the maiden voyage. Well, I'm having such a great time. Like, I've been on this planet maybe like an hour. I just took a load of pictures, scanned a load of... Oh, oh, of course, before we do that, I want to show you guys the new analysis visor. So this is the new look of the analysis visor. It's very cool. You can, like, scan for resources that are buried and go and dig them up. You can scan for, like... Um, uh, points of interest and I can just like mark them so if there's a say I'm looking for sodium and that's something I need to find before you would just do something like this and then it would show up for a bit but then it would disappear but with this you can actually scan like find something you want hold X and that will tag it so it stays there on my map so I can easily find it so these little tiny improvements and things like that are just making like quality of life and general gameplay so much smoother and better and I cannot get over the clouds and the ring planets <laughs> and the night sky and the stars oh let's get up there let's get into the sky let's go to space come on Jippy off we go I'm having the best day guys I'm having the best day well, I hope all of you guys are having the best day as well like playing through this stuff I want to try and fly through the clouds actually before we head off let's see what oh that's beautiful Let's see what happens if I try and fly into heaven. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. That is bizarre. I'm inside a freaking cloud! Oh, that's cool. Oh, and then I can, like, come out of the top. Oh, that's cool. We're going to have to try that in the daytime. The next planet. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, everything, everything I'm seeing, guys, is just amazing. The third person's really cool. I took a little picture of me uh, laying down, like, sitting down on a bed that I found in a little outpost building. I, like, on that first planet, that first starter planet, I've just had, like, an hour of kind of just dawdling around and having fun off camera. Not even, like, trying too hard to hurry up and get my ship repaired because I was just enjoying it so much. Oh, we have an incoming message. Oh, 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 oh. How do I answer? There we go, there we go. Comms override. Incoming transmission. Source. 4925B. Please identify yourself. I am... Ooh, I will identify myself. I am Gek Overlord, commander of the Jipper Colony, at your service. You are... Not alone. Follow the... The broadcast ends as, stra as strangely as it began. 
The final piece of the signal appears to be set of planetary coordinates. I can't, I'm too excited. To <laughs> I'm too, I need to go and explore, this is brilliant. Okay, we're in space. I got a signal, okay, we got a signal, so we got somewhere to go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at the clouds like moving around the planet and the atmosphere. Holy moly. That planet was called Aubrey XIX. I didn't rename anything there. I didn't rename any of the creatures. I took some pictures there. That was my first ever planet that I discovered. The menu looks pretty much the same. Of course, we've got this brand new resource up here. Quicksilver, which I think is one of the community event award type things. Nanite clusters unit, still the same. From what I can tell, uh, it looks a little bit slicker, a little bit nicer, but mostly still the same as before in the menu. I don't see any great, huge changes. Uh, but I I could be wrong. I'm just <laughs> I'm quite excited right now, so I'm not paying attention to like tiny, tiny, tiny little details, except for all the new tiny little details and textures on planets. But all that looks good. Uh, the you can't change the filter anymore in the general options. Um, but I don't think we would ever want to anymore because the textures and the look has just been improved so vastly that I wouldn't want to play with the filter anymore. And the terrain does look from space how it looks. Uh, on the planet. So these ridges, these little hills and bumps, these rocky mountain areas, that's what you see from space. If I fly down, those ridges are there. The planet does look like that. So that, yeah. Oh, the clouds flowing across in the ring planet. Gosh, this looks good. Should we take a little look at the ring planet um, in photo mode? Let's, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh wow. What a day. What a glorious day. Okay, well there is a freaking awesome picture, guys. And I haven't figured out a quick way to take a screenshot yet on the Xbox. I think I probably need to set it to like a one tap button, but I just took a picture. I know how to do it now, so that's that makes me happy. I take a lot of pictures in this game. I'm going to try, try and do it much less in my uh, game episodes. But you're going to have to bear with me in the first few because everything looks so beautiful. So we're in our first asteroid field. The textures definitely look a lot better. Um, space visuals just in general look better, like the, everything. Everything just looks good. It just looks good, guys. I don't know what to tell you. It looks fantastic. I am, I'm just loving everything I'm seeing. Oh, those clouds. The clouds! Right, okay, let's go to the planet. Where was this signal telling me to go? I want to explore new places. Wait, is it on the surface of the planet? Signal source! No, you got to be kidding me. I want to I wanna go to another planet, you damn fool. This game's trying to jip me. Trying to make me do busybody work. We should do that though. I think there's probably only one. Is there only one planet in this system? Maybe. All right. Can I do my yeah pulse engine, boy? <laughs> oh, there is another planet. Oh, there's okay. There's another. Oh, it is on another planet. Okay, okay. It looks like a little moon as well. Okay, we're gonna go straight there. Do we want to go into a space station in this episode? I kind of want to go to another planet first. I don't know because space stations have been overhauled quite dramatically from what I've heard. So. Maybe we do want to check that out. I don't know. I don't know. You guys know what I'm like. All right, we'll come back into Space Station very quickly. I'll have a quick pot around in there. Then we'll go to the next planet for this episode because I, I need to see more. I need to see more of this beautifulness. Okay, we're in the Space Station. We've touched down. So far, all looks pretty similar to what we know and love. Very familiar. Obviously improved textures. See you later, Jippy. Don't get into trouble while I'm gone. Woohoo! Oh. Okay, that's totally different. That is totally different. I'm so used to doing my little jetpack trick. So any new players, don't bother taking the stairs. You can jetpack up. It's going to take me a while to get the hang of it in third person. <laughs> I've got to try and do it. That's like the ultimate mark of a uh, new player is when they don't jetpack up to the top here. Ah, they made it more tricky. Okay, I'm going to have to take this. I'm going to have to take the ramp. I'm so, I'm so embarrassed in myself right now. Okay, right. Here we go. We've done it. We're in. Okay. Oh, this is nothing like... The space state. Oh my gosh. It's even bigger on the other side. Okay. Okay, yep. This is totally new. This is totally new. Okay. Get! Little buddy! I'm one of you! Oh, he's my assistant. Okay. What's he got to say? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, the Gek snaps to attention as I approach. That's right, because I'm the Gek Overlord. <laughs> he knows. He knows this place. Uh, I'm going to reassure him. You've been a good little chipper. His eyes. <laughs> we got new character models too for the NPCs. Uh, I have never seen one that looks like this. It looks awesome. He's got a cool little metal uh, plate on his beak. He is ready. He's ready. Someone must have punched him. Uh, the Gek relaxes. I show them I mean no harm. As I leave, I notice their eyes begin to return to their slumber. Yeah, you take a rest. You, you deserve it. It's not easy being a Gek out there. There's a lot of people that are against us. I'm watching you. 
<laughs> All right, what have we got here? Oh my gosh. And this, as you can see, is where Darth Maul died and fell down to the bottom. <laughs> I remember it well. Uh, ooh. And if anyone doesn't remember the movie, it was because he was mean to a geck and he got what he deserved. <laughs> right, let's see what we got in here. So we got plant. Can I can I steal all the goodies from the plants? No. Okay, we've obviously got good uh, CCTV improvements in the space stations. <laughs> Anti theft control. Hey, buddy. Oh, I lo I like this sister. We got geck all. Hey, you're not a geck. What are you doing here? Oh. We got loads of new NPCs and stuff. Okay, okay. The NPCs aren't walking around. I know some people were hoping for that. Maybe at some point they will do that, but right now they're not moving. They're very fluidly animated though, and they look crisp. This look at this suit. This guy looks awesome. Uh, it's been days since my last meal. I'm just looking at him, thinking, how would he even eat? <laughs> he just feasts on electricity. <laughs> Uh, but we all have to do what we can, don't we? We all have to play our part. Come, show me what you possess. I got nothing. I got nothing, buddy. Gypped again. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. One of these days. I'm not going to talk to everybody right now because we're going to have plenty of time to do that. And I do want to see one last planet. This gek armor looks awesome. Look at this guy in his little red suit with the little uh, breastplate and everything. His little belly plate. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, okay, I like this. I like this. I'm so glad that the first one I found was a Gex system. And I'm so glad that I started off in a little orange chipper suit. <laughs> it's making all my, like, literally all my dreams coming true in this game. Just by pure, like, luck and coincidence. What are you? Okay, that's the terminus. So that could teleport me to my, I'm guessing, my base or whatever, like before. It looks a lot cooler than it did before. Oh, boy. I'm in my, I'm like, I'm in my element right now. This is it, guys. This is, this is what it's all about. Captain Agro. Hmm. The alien's aggressive tone and rough demeanor mark them out as a mercenary. Ooh, I hope they're here in some official capacity. I'm such a, I'm such a little ruler of the geck. I'm like, I hope you're here on official business. <laughs> you better not be uh, selling your services to rapscallions. Uh, we'll leave, okay. Oh, I hope they're here in some official capacity, rather than undertaking a mission. Okay, so I can't actually do anything with him yet. So that's something I guess I've got to progress and work my way up to, whatever he's got for me. This is the guild guy? He's a navigator. Yeah, he, he give me missions? Uh, okay, can't interact with any of these guys just yet. So I'm guessing I've got to do some bits and bobs around in the story. I'm not going to sell anything yet, because I need all the resources I can get. This is, oh wow, oh wow, look out of the window. Look out of the window in wonder! Oh, that looks nice. The planets look so much better. The visuals are just awesome right now. I'm having a moment, guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed. I'm just like, everything is better than I could have imagined, you know? I'd, I'd even seen a couple of little snips of the leaked content and the leaked footage and stuff. Uh, just because, of course, I couldn't resist. I didn't talk about it. I didn't share any of it. I just, like, you know, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be that guy. Uh, but I had seen some of it. And it was awesome. But, like, actually playing it is just so much better than seeing the, the leaked footage before it was, like, ready and patched and all that stuff. But, yeah, this there's nothing to worry about, guys. This looks so good. Uh, excuse me. You are not a geck. But I do like your choice of colour for your suit. I don't speak Viking. Uh, the warrior's nostrils flare as I approach. <laughs> I, <tr> <laughs> I can't... <laughs> I need to learn to flare my nostrils. Uh, they take a second to think, then grab my mole tool while barking. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna whack him in the face. Oh, there's no whack him in the face option. All right, well, guess we'll just give him. I just got, I just got robbed. I just got gypped. What the heck? In a gex system too? Oh, but I learned a word. Okay, he literally just mugged me. You guys see that? He just grabbed my arm and didn't let me go until I gave him stuff. That is, that is a crime. Excuse me. You're, you're fired. You're, you're the laziest kick I ever did see. They're all out here snoozing while I'm getting robbed. The air around the baked life, the beak, baked, <laughs> the beaked life orb smells foul. Okay, well, I mean, some people find the smell very uh, pleasant, actually. It's a misconception of what people have. <laughs> oh my gosh, the little geck did a dance. That was awesome. Oh, that was epic. Okay, we've got some units. I, I was not paying attention to what that interaction was because I was too happy seeing him dance. But he gave me money. We've got a multi tool. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? That this is a... Is this a technology merchant? 
Can I buy stuff yet? Or probably not yet. I'm guessing I'm too early. Oh, oh, oh. I can purchase upgrade modules. Ooh. Okay, let me see what that is. I want a, I want a module. <laughs> He's like, forget about it. <laughs> he can tell that I'm poor. <laughs> he just took one look at me and he was like, this isn't the shop for you. <laughs> you can't afford to shop here. Uh, we are gonna, I'm gonna look at these upgrade modules. That sounds very interesting. Mining beam module. So we can upgrade our current multi-tools with new attachments and stuff. Okay, that's cool. So it's similar, I guess, to like upgrading them with the blueprints. But these are actual like upgrade modules. So we're gonna have to like earn some money. <laughs> <laughs> and then see how all of that works, but that's pretty nice. I like these new shops and everything. It just feels so much more lifelike, you know? Okay, I'm not gonna look around all of this stuff. Uh, oh, I know what this one is! Appearance modifier! Yes, here we go! Dun, 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 I am gonna be a keg! Okay, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna customize it, and then we're gonna come back and you can see what I look like, and then we'll run to another planet real quick. I'll check out the other stuff in the space station in another episode, because we want to see as much as we can today. <laughs> what a great day. Okay, we're back, and I've just touched down on the planet that I need to go to for my little mission, and I'm just sitting here, in my ship, in little jippy, looking around, thinking, yeah. We made it, guys. <laughs> Holy freaking crap, this is incredible. Well, let's hop on out because uh, <laughs> you guys need to meet the new Gek Overlord. Hell, please, the Jipper. <laughs> I need to go into photo mode so I can show you this. It is absolutely fantastic. So I didn't want to show off all of the character customization because you guys are going to make your own characters. And there are so many parts to choose from. You can be every single race, including the Traveler race. So many different parts, colors, and things to choose from. It's a really good customization thing. Holy moly, look at this place. Look at this place, the little specks flowing around, the oceans. The render distance is something that I haven't spoken about yet in this episode. But just look at it. Just look at it. There's no more things popping in as I walk there. You know, the grass doesn't just pop up when I get there. The trees don't just pop in. I can see the horizon. I can see the mountains, the trees, the grass, the oceans. I'm just, it's so good. I'm so happy right now. And now... The unveiling. Here we go. We got the daytime, and we have me. <laughs> I'm so pleased with the way that I've made myself look. I spent probably far too long doing it, but it was worth it because look at me. I'm gonna take a little snap of that because it just looks perfect. <laughs> <laughs> there I am, everyone. There is your fearless Gek leader, El Place. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good all orange. He's even got like a cool like black tint on his horns and I customized all of that Like I chose that I chose the beat color the scale markings everything like that down to the tiny little detail Primary secondary tertiary colors uh, like the little boot cuff colors Everything was like completely me just choosing it to look this way and it looks awesome And I'm very very happy right now. Yeah, all of my dreams like and more have come true already And we're just getting started this planet looks like it's going to be beautiful. We've got oceans. Look at me go. <laughs> my tiny little legs. <laughs> my little jipper legs. Oh, gosh. we got some oceans or at least some really expansive lakes here. We've got mountains. We've got incredibly huge, beautiful looking trees. Lovely grass. A ringed planet in the... Oh, it looks so good. It looks really good. That ringed planet looks really good from down here. But we're going to explore this place properly in the next episode, because this has been a bit of a long one. Uh, but yeah, th there'll be episodes coming every day, lots of them. So much, so much No Man's Sky to play right now is all I want to do. There's nothing else that's going to take priority over my time. So yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Hopefully you enjoyed our first little adventure in No Man's Sky next. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, guys. And peace. So happy. <laughs> Just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of my current Patreon supporters Shrock Majelli, Wyo, Madeline J, NTB, Ovin S, Tyler D, Todd Cook, Neil B, Anarchy, Vanilla, Rasmus K, Autumn Long, Lukash, Husband Vader, Amras, Dale from the Atlas Herb, Ty the Blazer, Joannes Anderson, Heath, The Portrait Dude, Akami, Mac for a Day, Ongrad, and Dead D Reza. You guys are the best. <laughs>